everyone, it's your girl for iCrafter here. I'm here today to show you this wonderful project, which is this wonderful geometric favor box from iCrafter. It had 10 dice and you could use it for almost anything from wedding to birthday or just a uh, little gift for someone. Now I've made this other box here just to show you the pattern but first let me show you the um, actual die themselves. You get two main dies here, here, uh, which, is, which make this box here. Now obviously I'm just here showing you this box just uh, to show you what these two die do. There are also um, other dies as well which are um, pattern dies um, as well as uh, template dies for mat and layers or to put in a window. Now the um, pattern dies here are the different patterns that you get. You get three different pa three different designs. You get the oriental design, the art deco design and a lovely little um, delicate design which I will be using today. Now I have already pre-cut all of my um, templates out so I'll just be showing you the um, putting together of the box today. So, um, as I say, this um, box is perfect for all occasions. which I will show you in just a moment. Here are the uh, two main pieces that I've cut out. I've already put in uh, the windows for some of them already. Now, as you can see, um, I have put red tape on the smaller tab um, and the bigger tabs are for the uh, lid area. Uh, I will first of all I will finish off by putting on the uh, lot very large window which are f the two um, dies here and here uh, the diamond die and the uh, square die. Now obviously you can use these for um, not just the window but mat and layers as well as I previously did. So here I will be um, putting on this window. Uh, I am using just some three millimeter red tape, as close as possible to the edge of the actual uh, frame design, so it doesn't stick out. Apology for the uh, in that me just checking that it is three millimeter millimeters. Um, apologies for the shaking of the camera. So we'll just take off the red tape all the way around. I've used red tape just because it's um, quick and easy. It obviously there's no dry time here. point I um, couldn't actually see where I put my frame, my uh, window. There it is. <laughs> and I will very gently, uh, very carefully, sorry, put it over um, to cover everything there. And there you have a window. Now obviously 
obviously you could put anything on 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 this box you could use it as uh, you could use the mat and layer and then put the design on um, I here I was just um, rubbing out some some um, grimy bit they grimy bit some um, black bit on that were on the box um, so yeah and the window <laughs> Okay, so after I um, rubbed off all the um, bits, um, I was going to fold all the pieces. Uh, I've folded all the pieces already, um, and I started with this bit um, that I'm touching now. Um, but first of all, that is how you would get. Uh, that is what your pieces would look like when you cut them out. Um, you, I put played them there just to show you um, which piece was which. And that me just showing you there that there are actually three designs. Um, for the window bit, um, the Art Deco, the Oriental looking, and the very delicate. I'm now folding all the um, f all the flap that need to be um, folded. I tend not to um, burnish them down. It's just my own preference. You guys can burn the jaw down, but here is the lid area and the bigger flap. The smaller flaps are what need to be stuck down. I've um, used my 3mm red tape just for ease, ease and quickness. I'm actually going to start with this piece first, um, but do it bit but I darted it doing it bit by bit. Um, I didn't take off all the red tape all in one go for this, for this piece. So we just start off by popping these pieces together. Like so, and then I will just line them up as best as I can and put them down just to make sure okay and it down just like that the flap at the top there and I will just reinforce everything there I will then get my neck piece line it up Using the bigger flap, lining it, lining it up, I will then put the the piece here. Again, don't take off all your um, red red liner tape in one go because you don't want to um, adhere everything together. So here we go, and as I say. All of it is very easy to um, adhere together, even with dexterity problems. As you can see, I do have dexterity problems in one hand. And there you go. Adhere it down. Oh, I didn't get it in line. There we go, and put it down. And the next piece. Put it down. There we go. And then the last, last edges. Just pop this together just here. Can you do? As you can do, I uh, again I'm just doing it bit by bit. I'm not rushing. Make sure 
everything together. The last two edges, I will, I will just um, take all the red tape off, um, and then as I'm adhering them down, I will just. Uh, I would just use my um, table to put it all down from the inside. Once I get this off, using my very short nails, to pop it together roughly. Pop these back just to make it easier for me to get my hand in. There we go, and it's so easy to put together. And it it would literally take once you had all of these put out it would literally take you a, a couple of minutes to put each box together if you were doing them in bulk uh, to make sure everything put down and there you go lid on with the beautiful look absolutely beautiful now I have um, cut out uh, when I cut out all the pieces, there was some bit left over, and um, these square bit, um, which I'm just showing here, um, were perfect for a gentleman to hide the area of the lid. Um, so all I did is just put a for you gentleman on, just showing you there. Got loads of them from the cup, uh, just put for you on and a foam pad on the back which I will take off the backing with my very short nails and pop it on and as I did it hides everything under the lid perfectly so beautiful, such beautiful box and looking at this box right now I would put some silver uh, tissue paper in there with the um, with the w whatever gift um, goes in there you could also put balloon, tie, tie balloons onto it um, have it weighed down with chocolate uh, for your birthday um, so yeah so three different types of box, obviously the first, this one just showing you the template of the actual um, the actual box itself, this one just showing you all the designs, um, I also kept the um, cut out theme as well, just so I could keep them for gentlemen. So there you go, a nice little box from iCrafter, the geometric favour box um, wonderful for all occasions please do um, go to the iCrafter website uh, iCrafter.com uh, to, to um, see more, for more product um, as well as this one also go over to Facebook and Instagram for more ideas on all of the iCrafter product. Thank you for joining me and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.